What's the single most important muscle for an aesthetic physique? Easy, the shoulders. So we should prioritize them if we wanna look aesthetic, right? Well, what if we work them out every day? In this video, we're gonna find out what happens when you spam lateral raises every day for 30 days. Initially, I had the idea of doing shoulder press every day for 30 days, but that would be way too taxing on the body and would absolutely cook me. So instead, I'm gonna do lateral raises every day for 30 days because they're not super taxing and won't impact my recovery too much. My shoulders have always been lagging because I never really gave them the attention that they needed. I feel like growing up, you'd always hear, oh no, there's no need to isolate the shoulders. You hit your shoulders when you do your bench press, your dips, um, overhead pressing, you know, that's more than enough, but it's really not enough. And as a result, my shoulders have never really been a strong point in my physique. I've never had that capped delt look. So I'm expecting to see pretty significant gains in my shoulders in this 30 day experiment, especially since I'm cutting right now. I think this will really bring out that shoulder line that everyone really loves. <gasps> when you can see their shoulder line, the one that goes like that. So the plan is to do three sets to failure every day for 30 days. Weight wise, I'll be using eight kilogram slash 18 pound dumbbells as I feel this is a reasonable weight for me to hit around 10 to 15 reps before hitting failure. But I do have a slight suspicion that three sets of eight kilograms to failure every day might be a bit too much. So I wouldn't be surprised if I reduce the weight or the reps further down the line. All right, so it's March 28th. Officially day one of 30. Just finished a leg workout, so I'm pretty spent, but gotta get it done. So here's how we're looking on a day one. Something that I learned pretty early on was that rest and recovery are super important. So it's only day three of 30 and my shoulders are feeling way too fucking sore. So I've decided instead of going to failure every set, I'm just gonna go within two reps of failure. I found that by going to failure, every single set every day was overtraining my shoulders and making me feel really fucking sore. So at that time, I found it better for me to stop just short of failure so I could actually let my body recover and come back stronger. Day 15, halfway through, here's a quick update on how we're looking. So it's officially day 15 of the 30 day experiment. We're halfway there. So far, feeling pretty good. Since I stopped going to failure every set, my recovery has been a lot better. I'm not sore every day now. I'm still getting stronger in my compound lifts, so I'm definitely getting enough rest and recovery. I just did a bit of posing and I can kind of feel like my shoulders are bigger. Uh, it's hard to see without definitively comparing the day one video side by side, but I think it's working. Overall, feeling pretty good at the halfway point. Excited to see what happens in the next two weeks. Yeah, um, yeah. After a while, my shoulders were adapting well to the daily stress and I was able to ramp up the intensity again. I was able to start going to failure again every set. And the second time round of taking it to failure every time was a lot better than the first. I think at the start of the experiment, my delts just weren't that accustomed to so much stress at once. I learned that your shoulders can actually take a massive beating. Most people don't train them nearly as hard as we actually can. And long term, I don't see any issues with doing this, say, three to four times a week if your shoulders are lagging and you really need to bring them up. Completing the same task every day for a month is hard and requires a lot of discipline. You're forced to push through times of 
not wanting to do it and staying committed to the challenge. Normally I only train three times a week so it took some serious mental effort to make myself get up and do some lateral races every fucking day. Day 21 now and as I've been pushing on I feel like my shoulders are getting less sore so I feel like they're adapting well to the daily stress I'm putting on them. So for the last 10-ish days I want to push harder and try to take every set to failure again. Day 20 something. Uh, it's been a long day of work. Really can't be fucked doing this right now. Uh, it's starting to feel like quite a chore. So actually can't wait for this to be over. The day has come, day 30, last day of this shit. I'm glad it's over, it's been such a fucking chore to have to do this every day. I think the results might be worth it though, so let's finish off these last three sets and then see how we're looking. done. Here's how we're looking. Alright, let's have a look at the day 1 versus day 30. Yeah, look, at first glance, I can definitely see that my V-taper is more pronounced in the day 30 photo. Looks like there's a bit more size to the shoulders and they look just that little bit more rounded. To me, it looks like there's more of a separation between the delts and the biceps and triceps. And I didn't expect this, but it looks like my traps have actually developed a bit too. Uh, they seem a bit fuller and a bit rounder. One thing we have to keep in mind is that at the start of this, I was 70.5 kilos or 155 pounds. And at day 30, I was 68.9 kilos or 152 pounds so some of what you're seeing could be the results of simply getting leaner but overall i definitely think doing these lateral raises every day has really made my shoulders pop that tiny bit more and just made them a bit more round so would i recommend doing this i think if you really need to bring your shoulders up and they're lagging behind everything else Sure, go do extra lateral raises. I would say do them three or four times a week. I wouldn't go daily though. I think three to four times a week is definitely enough to get the benefits of the high frequency stimulation without it feeling like a chore and impacting your recovery on your other lifts too much. Definitely not something I wanna continue doing. I'm very fucking glad it's over, but I'm happy that I saw it through and I'm pretty pleased with the results. Thanks for watching.